Welcome! Are you new to Final Fantasy XIV? Maybe even a returning sprout? Today, we're diving into 5 essential tips to help you get started in Eorzea. Have your character ready? Let's get started. Now, this first one may sound bare bones and basic, but tip number one is to read your tooltips. Paying attention to your ability's tooltips is crucial for understanding how to play your class effectively. Please take the time to read what each skill does and how it interacts with other skills. This shouldn't be that difficult at the start because you'll be drip-fed new abilities and roll actions over time as you level up. While you are slowly introduced to abilities at the start, other classes or jobs start out at levels 70, 80, and eventually 90 and 100. And well... OH MY GOODNESS! Reading your tooltips now will help you build your ability to recognize what new buttons do later on when they just dump all those new powers onto you. This next tip is for my tank gang out there. Don't worry, you DPS and healer players have a tip as well, so don't fret. If you're playing as a tank class, tip number two is to make sure to activate your tank stance. This stance increases your enmity generation, basically like holding a big sign that says kick me to ensure your squishy compatriot survival. This will draw the attention of any enemy you hit onto you instead of the real big hitter. While I understand that you'll forget it because honestly, waiting until level 10 on Gladiator for Iron Will can pose a chance you'll forget about it before you take on your first dungeon with people. As long as you refer back to tip number one, this problem shouldn't last for too long. Remember to toggle it on before engaging in combat to maintain the enemy's aggro. Black Mage players, this one's for you. If the damage you deal is magic based, or if any abilities you have has this progress bar better known as a casting bar, mastering tip number three called slide casting can significantly improve your, your performance in battles. What is slide casting? Let's split this casting bar into four equal parts. When the progress reaches this last fourth of the bar, you can move without having the skill you want to cast be interrupted. Do this to avoid incoming attacks and your healer's fury while putting your damage on the table. Practice this technique to stay mobile and avoid damage without sacrificing your DPS. As a healer, your job is plentiful. You gotta heal when your team is low, you gotta deal damage when you aren't healing, and you gotta make sure you don't lose this bugger right here to make sure that they don't kick the bucket to prevent this. If you click System, Keybind, and scroll down to tip number 4 called Set Focus Target, you can then target your tank and make them your focus. Now you have a keybind that can immediately jump to your tank so you don't have to search through mounds of polygons or go up against the party list to target heal your tank. The best part, when you're done, you can simply press tab and go right back to dealing damage. This allows for better situational awareness and decision making during fights. I hope you've been practicing your ABCs. Last but not least, tip number five is to always be casting. This sort of tip applies to all roles in Final Fantasy XIV. Maximizing your uptime on abilities is crucial for maintaining damage output. Sometimes a dungeon queue can drag on, and may God save your soul if you're queuing as a DPS. Avoid standing idle during fights and keep that damage hose flowing for maximum effectiveness. The first reason may seem a little self-serving, as you might be trying to get back to the MSQ, or someone else wants a specific loot from an instance, but the other reason comes from the fact alone that later on, some bosses will have an enrage mechanic that will wipe the whole party if you guys are taking too long or aren't dealing enough damage. If you remember to always be casting, even while avoiding the boss's attacks, you'll be smooth sailing on your way through the MSQ. Each role has a job to do in Final Fantasy. 14. These five essential tips to help players get on their feet when starting off or returning will help you get a starting idea of what it's like to play the other roles if you want to try them. Remember to read your tooltip, use your tank stance, master slide casting, set a focus target keybind, and always be casting. If you like this video and want more content like this, why not subscribe to the channel? If you are a new player coming across this video, welcome, genuinely. Leave a comment down below about what got you into the game, or just leave your opinion down below so I may better improve my videos. Oh, and secret tip number six, make your character on a Brynhildr server in the Crystal Data Center. That way I can play with you and help you with however, however I can. See you next time.